I am speaking to you at a moment of grave crisis, when violent and fanatical men are attempting to destroy the unity and the freedom of Canada. As Justin Trudeau prepares to extinguish the Charter of Rights and Freedoms in Canada, he looks to his father, former P Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau, for inspiration. No, 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 not that other guy. Will it work? Let's go find out as we go Busting the Narrative. Now, we've been told for decades that freedom is a fragile thing. But when Ronald Reagan said way back in 1961, that freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. I think he meant one entire generation, not one generation of Trudeaus. But freedom is being extinguished in Canada, and it is Trudeau Jr. who is doing it. When Trudeau Sr., that's Pierre again, let's not get confused here, wink wink, reluctantly invoked emergency powers that temporarily extinguished Canada's Bill of Rights and brought the military onto the streets in 1970, he was doing so to deal with a gang of murderous separatist terrorist kidnappers who were making outrageous demands to release other terrorists from jail. To bow to the pressures of these kidnappers who demand that the prisoners be released would not only be an abdication of responsibility, it would lead to an increase in terrorist activities in Quebec. Trudeau Jr. sees the truckers and their supporters now blockading the National Capital Ottawa and the Ambassador Bridge in the same light. Here in our capital city, Families and small businesses have been enduring illegal obstruction of their neighborhoods. Occupying streets, harassing people, breaking the law. This is not a peaceful protest. And as a result, he has invoked the federal government's emergency powers. This is about keeping Canadians safe, protecting people's jobs, and restoring confidence in our institutions. Let's be clear. It's your freedom I'm focused on. The freedom of the responsible majority of us who are fully vaccinated. Oh, those Canadians! So, freedom is conditional on vaccination now. Right. Got it, Mr. Prime Minister. Meanwhile, at the truckers' protest, for anyone who cares to listen, vaccination is not the issue. It's the mandates. Like me, and I'm triple jabbed, most of these people are not protesting against the vaccines. They are protesting against the government forcing them to be injected in order to go to work. They are defending a quaint old concept. What was that word again, Justin? Freedom. <laughs> That's a dirty word these days, according to the state-funded Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, which quotes experts saying it is commonly used by far-right groups. One of the, those experts said, quote, the way many protesters frame their calls for freedom renders the word meaningless. But if anybody is rendering the word freedom meaningless, it is Prime Minister Trudeau himself. And this is no accident, because like his friends ruling the world's emerging superpower, China, freedom is an annoying concept that often gets in the way of that other woke virtue, progress. There's a level of, of uh, admiration I actually have for China. Um, because their you know, basic dictatorship is allowing them uh, to actually turn their economy around on a dime and say, we need to go green as fast as we need to start you know, investing in solar. I mean, there is a flexibility that I know Stephen Harper must dream about of having a dictatorship that he could do everything he wanted. Uh, that I find quite interesting. And he is now employing the sort of political strategies that would make his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping blush, including freezing the bank accounts of anyone linked to the protests. But of course, he is careful to dress it up in the language of the caring, benign dictator. I want to be very clear. The scope of these measures will be time-limited, geographically targeted, as well as reasonable and proportionate to the threats they are meant to address. There have recently been a handful of arrests among the protesters, but the rest of them are not going anywhere. If the protesters threaten anybody's jobs, it is Ottawa Police Chief Peter Slowlies, who resigned today, saying the Ottawa force was now, quote, better positioned to end this occupation, and Trudeau himself, whose popularity is collapsing. According to one poll held last weekend, almost half of Canadians think he is not up to the job. What would Xi Jinping do? Or, more to the point, what would Justin's father Pierre do? One thing's for sure. 
freedom, and personal security are safeguarded by laws. Those laws must be respected in order to be effective. Thanks for watching, and to support this channel, please like, share, and subscribe below, and I'll see you next week for more Busting the Narrative.